Good morning and welcome to Philly Live. I'm Sheila Watko. Tomorrow marks the 36th anniversary of the move bombing in Philadelphia. And on a tragic day in the city's history, First Person Arts hopes to spark resilience, activism, and hope for a better world with a new documentary airing, a documentary airing during their storytelling festival. There is a difference, Sheila, between justice and healing. We Live, We Breathe, Brotherly Love protest stories from First Person Arts features stories from seven men of color about their experiences at the Black Lives Matter protests in Philly last summer. Why were they there? What were they fighting for? How do they view their own actions? You know, and how were their actions different from the, the photos of people looting? There was a difference. See somebody get, get killed on national TV? I mean, that, it, was, it was just unforgivable to me. It was unforgivable. They were all driven by this passion to make a better world, not just for themselves, for their children, for the people they love, and more importantly, for their ancestors. If you had questions about why people were out there protesting, they'll get answered. The documentary was made in partnership with the City of Philadelphia Department of Behavioral Health to engage males of color, a group that suffers disproportionately from wellness issues due in part to the stigma around talking about wellness. Those days definitely left marks on me, psychologically, for sure. These men talk about how this whole George Floyd killing and how that impacted them. And, you know, Chauvin getting convicted is not healing the pain. Justice is a good step in the right direction, but it's not healing. So we're, we're trying to bring hope and healing to people and continue that conversation. The film premieres on the 36th anniversary of the 1985 MOVE bombing in West Philadelphia, a decision made in hopes that stories of resilience and activism will balance out memories from the tragedy. The MOVE bombing resonated across the world from Philadelphia in the worst possible way. We thought that airing the film now would be important to elevate voices of people that are doing the work to make change. I gave him a hug and I told him to pick your head up. Don't ever let them see your crown hang. That's what they want you to do. First Person Arts will continue to give a platform to these pressing stories. And I think we all can benefit from hearing those kind of stories. This is, this is an invitation for everyone to get into the conversation. The revolution is here. The revolution is finally here. I can't think of a more meaningful way to show how much Black Lives Matter is if through this work, we all heal. We Live, We Breathe, Brotherly Love Protest Stories premieres tomorrow night at 8 p.m. and tickets are free. You can also check out the other stories being told during First Person Arts Anthology Festival, including a deep dive look at why people chose to get or not to get the vaccine. Very, very interesting. The festival runs through May 21st, and we've got a link with all of that information in the Philly Live section of NBC10.com or the NBC10 app.